before I get to this bonfire. I really don't want to die because there's a channeler up ahead and I, I just don't, I don't like these channelers. Their stupid dancey dance just sucks. And their teleporting is retarded, like, you can't hit them during that. Though most enemies you can't hit during that. Can you stop doing your dancey dance, buddy? Can you stop? Stop doing your dancey dance. My arrows are better than yours. Not really, not really, I'm sorry. Why did you fire that arrow? I didn't tell you to fire that arrow. Dude, your stupid soul arrow. There we go. I believe he's dead. No, he's not dead. He has one more arrow and he's dead. Ah! Done. He's dead. Alright, good. But his uh, his little friends are buffed now, so I need to be really careful. And he didn't drop his trident. What a jerk. This guy's buffed. This guy will kill me if I turn around the corner. New Game Plus sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have done a New Game Plus playthrough. I was just going to play through the game anyways, but that's why I kind of did this. I figured this would be a little bit easier. If I did this instead of a uh, new game. But uh, I might be wrong. This, good, this still could go terribly wrong. As have been shown many times, I have died twice in this one session, so... I wish every enemy in this game took three hits to kill. So is there a guy behind me? There might be a guy behind me. Oh, take cautions. No, he's not. Okay, good. Is there a guy right here? No. Oh god, what was that? Oh no, there's another channeler. Oh, great. Oh, damn it. Oh, seriously, hit me in the face for like a critical hit. Did you see that? That was terrible. Alright. You're dead. Alright, move so I can get behind this. I might just shoot arrows at this guy. I wonder if I could stagger him. Oh, I can. And he can't hit me from here. I'll just keep doing this, yeah. And one more and he should be dead. There we go. Channeler is now dead. Did he drop? I don't think he dropped his trident. What a jerk bag. Also, is that the way to go? I thought that way was the way to go. That is the way to go. Wait a minute, do I have to make it through the... No, I don't. Okay, I thought I had to make it through the crystal caves at first to get to the next bonfire, but that's not true. Next bonfire is, like, right up ahead. Also, what arrows am I using? What arrows am I using? Oh, I'm using large arrows. Well, shoot. I should stop using those. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. This guy has hit me when I got down here before. It was really dumb. He has pretty good accuracy from all the way up there. I don't know how he can aim down, because I know I can't. But uh, that that's that. I, oh, thank god I kindled this. All the important bonfires I have kindled. There we go, okay. Oh, okay, so what's next? How many souls do I have? Do I have enough souls to maybe level up? Oh, I don't really know. Soul of a hero is a lot. I know that. Soul of a brave warrior. Hmm. Should I level up my faith once? Nah, I'm good for now. I'm good. I don't need to be human for this, so. I will most likely be ignoring every mimic we see on the way, by the way. I don't feel like fighting any mimics. Because that's a mimic. And I don't think they aggro other than opening them or hitting them, so. There is a crystal guy down here, I know that. He's probably one of the only enemies we will fight on the way there. No, 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 no. I do have some clams I need to kill. That is correct. That is correct, everybody. But I. Oh, man, this part just sucks. The Crystal Caverns I've never really liked. Um, when I went through them the first time, I had no idea what to do, and the game kind of throws something at you that you're not expecting, so... It's really dumb. For the most part, though, these enemies, you can be ran by. Obviously, I'm doing so right now. You can run by them, but there is one that can't be run by, and you have to fight them on this stupid ledge. 
I actually, you know what? He, I, I, that might be wrong. I might, you might be able to run by him, but I'm always afraid of getting hit off by these guys. I said I always do this, so I don't know why I really worry myself about that. And they won't follow you once you fall down right here, so I should be good. At least I don't think they follow me. But uh, as you can see, you can see this message out here. And you're like, what? And also the frames are a bit choppy here. And you could just... It's invisible. Path ahead. And uh, what you have to do is you kind of have to follow the snowflakes. And you see them. And then you walk along this ledge. There's also Moonlight Butterfly in here. But this is the guy that I don't think... You know what? No. Um. I really hope I don't fall off here. I'm going to see if I can't aggro this guy. And pull him. Where's that message at? The message is right there. Oh, I did pull the other one. Oh, no. Alright, if that guy can run a little bit faster. If this guy falls off. I didn't think they followed you down there. They've never followed me down here before. Oh, shit. No, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Yeah, I definitely don't want to fight you, buddy. Especially on an... Alright, fuck this. Also, the game kind of pushes you right here. There's like an invisible wall. And it pushes you to the right like it's doing now. It's really weird. Uh, but if you do this and you turn around, there's also another one. And there's crystal lizards in there, but I'm not going to fight them because then I'm going to get trapped by the... Also, where's this path? All right, it's right there. I see it. For the most part, I'm really comfortable with this area now because I've done this so much that... I don't think you're going to fall down. All right, it's good. So that only leads the clams. Oh, and this is my farming spot for Twinkling Titanite. So, but I will not be farming for that today, luckily, for you guys. This will not be a farming episode. This will just be a normal... Normal, kill the clams, get to Seath, and such. Seath is a pain in the asshole, so we will see how that goes. Also, they kind of knock me away. Oh, I stagger him. I don't know if that will always happen, but I can stagger them. So I'm really worried about that crystal golem dropping down and then coming to kick my ass. Yeah, I'd like to keep staggering you, please. They don't bleed, so this kind of sucks. There's a reason I didn't go to Ash Lake, and that's because of these guys. But they do, they do, these ones in specific have a very high chance of dropping Twinkling Titanite and uh, Purging Stones. So the Purging Stones are good because... Seath can curse me. Other than Seath, I think we're done with curse. For like the longest time, unless... I can't think of any enemies that will curse me. I'm trying to think of any other enemy that will curse me right now. Please stagger! Oh, thank god. I'll back my shit up. Oh, he almost got me with that attack. But he failed. He will fail you. Of that I'm sure. Alright, uh, nothing. Thanks. Like I said, I don't need them, but it would be nice to get something. Maybe some purging stones. I'd really like some purging stones, because if I do somehow end up dying against Seath, I would like to have some curse, uh, repellent, I guess you would say. It get Something that nullifies the curse. That would be great. Also, I don't think there's any summon summons for this fight, so that kind of sucks. Then again, I'm not human, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Back up, let my stamina recharge. Then we can kill him, and then we're done with this one. Yay! Alright, did you drop anything? How many, uh, clams are left? Two? Two? I think there's two left. There's one trying to be all sneaky over here. He's kind of taking a nap, but he he's not really taking a nap. I hate their stupid launch forward attacks. They can launch you forward and it's retarded. Alright, now that he's done, we'll back up, get the stamina. He's doing his stupid grab attack. I've never been grabbed by one of those, but I'm pretty sure that it hurts a lot. Twinkling Titanite, alright. I don't mind the Twinkling Titanite. Oh shit, there are two more clams. There were three when I said there were two. I lied to you guys. I'm I apologize. Come on. Alright, there we go. Stagger. Keep hitting him until he staggers again. And then keep going until stamina is gone. Back up. 
let the stamina charge. He does a stupid little kick. Let him do his either grab attack or push attack, whatever it's called. And just hit twice. And he's done. This is also one of the only bosses without a fog gate. Um, I think Sif was the other one. <clears throat> but he doesn't have a fog gate until unless you die. I'm pretty sure if you die, then a fog gate appears. I really wish there was a bonfire right here. Like, outside, so you can kind of just like, keep going back. But... Alas, there isn't. And I probably should have repaired my weapon beforehand. Let's hope to God that I can do this without this weapon breaking. Let's see how good the condition of it is at. It's at 47. That's really not good. Do I have any repair powder? I don't, do I? Oh, I do. Thank God. Okay. Yes. I'm not doing this with a half-broken sword. Because that would not be good. And so the fight with Seath has begun. I don't know why he moves spots. Like, his other spot was pretty good. He was at a higher distance, and you couldn't really run up to him and hit him. As far as I know. And this that's his power right there. So I don't know why the whole boss fight moves over here. But he also doesn't have any legs. He looks really weird. But uh, there's Seathless the Scaleless. Or Seathless. Seath the Scaleless. I was thinking Ceaseless. Ceaseless the Scaleless. And his thing is right behind us now. I don't know how it we got turned around, but it, we did. So, And that's what gives him all of his power. And thus, now he is invincible. And we will be fighting him now. I could have also just ran in here with the clams and we would have been fine, but I didn't really want to fight those clams. Also, I don't know if he bleeds. Does he bleed? It doesn't look like he bleeds. Thus, we will make do with what we have, so. Get around him. Let, hopefully he's doing his stupid laser attack. Oh, thank God he is. When he does that, I have a good opening. Need to back up, back up. Hold my shield up. Hold my shield up. Uh-oh. 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 What is he doing? Come at me, huh? Oh, no. He's doing his stupid giant crystal attack. Oh, God. This might kill me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll put back up. Flask it. And then we're safe. I don't even care if he uh, does his stupid crystal laser thing because I'll just run behind him. At least some of you are doing that. It's looking like he is, so. Start swinging now. Also, he's doing another stupid tentacle attack. Which can do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna heal. Oh, there he goes. He's doing his, uh. His, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Alright, we'll run through that since it's not gonna do too much damage. Do your laser beam. Are you doing your laser beam? Oh god, you are! Not where I wanted you to, but you are. I think you can also get a weapon from him. Like, his tail is a weapon, too. Like most bosses in the game, but... I don't know how to get it. Also, that hurt a lot. Alright, well, since you're not doing much, I'm going to heal. Oh god. Stop doing that, please! That hurts a lot!